Manchester United 1, Brighton Hope Albion 3. I mean, what the fuck was that defending? I mean, seriously, both goals Brighton scored. How much fucking space do you want to allow them? Seriously, man, absolutely unbelievable. Danny Welbeck, ex-Manchester United player, scoring the opening goal. I mean, again, that is shambolic defending, but the third goal, or second goal, what Brighton scored, I mean, oh my goodness, it's just pathetic. Hannibal got one back, great goal, fair play. Now, there were some positives, you know, we're creating the opportunities that set pieces and taking corners and the defending, shocking, no excuses whatsoever. Roberto De Serbi completely outclassed Eric Ten Hag. This one is on Eric Ten Hag because he takes Razas Hoyland off. Hoyland was having the game of his life and he substitutes him and bring on fucking Anthony Marshall, who's always made a glass and always injured. What the fuck, Eric Ten Hag, doing that, bringing on... Anti Marshall, when Raz has Hoyland, was having such a good game. You have got to take some responsibility for this. You absolute Dutch bald fraud in this game, honestly. I'm not Eric Ten Hag out, but he needs calling out for this, seriously. And that defending is an absolute disgrace. I mean, what the fuck was Martinez and Lindelof thinking? Where was the marking? On that second goal, what Brighton scored. Pathetic. Honestly, fucking had enough. And it's Manchester United team. We are absolutely going to throw another manager under the bus. And Ten Hag is going to lose this dressing ring. And it's going to be another failed appointment. That's now three defeats this season. We've only won two games. And now at three defeats this season... Realistically, we could have lost all five opening matches. But, yeah, nowhere near good enough. The positive thing is creating chances, so you must fucking convert them. And what's the point in creating chances it's if you do not convert them? Seriously, man. This Manchester United team is just an absolute joke. I mean, I, I just cannot get my head around what the fuck was Alexander Hogg thinking? Taking Hoyland off. Hoyland was superb. And he substitutes him. Why? Why, Eric Ten Hag? Why did you do that? Seriously, man. Unbelievable. Red Leon, I thought he was quite decent today in the left-back position. And I'll see Diego Dillo. He returns back to the right-back position. Aaron Wambazaka came on as a substitute. I mean, Hannibal was a positive guess in that goal, but yeah, this Manchester United team is just an absolute fucking joke, honestly. I've had enough. I'm, I'm so done. This season is just a total write-off, honestly. I mean, what are we? Five games into the new season, and I'm writing it off already. You can say, oh, I'm being negative and that. Uh, no, I'm a realistic person, honestly. We knew that Manchester United were in trouble before this season started. And it's coming to light, honestly. We will not be getting top four. We will not win a trophy. And probably Eric Ten Hag is going to lose his job. What a fucking fun season that is. Not... But anyway, comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. I'm so mad. This is probably... The maddest I've been on the match reaction for a long time. It's just like, where is the fight? That defending, what the fuck? Where are the defensive coaches saying that defending is not acceptable? Seriously, man, it's like, ah, oh, fair play to Bryson and return, Roberto to Serbi. They deserve it. And Danny Welbeck, I thought, was absolutely superb. If it wasn't for Andre O'Neill there, that could have been about five or six to Brighton. Again, another Saturday ruined by Manchester United. For fuck's sake, man. Honestly, sort your shit out. 
I'm, I'm fucking angry. Bye-bye.